Hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over the um, Luck Perms plugin for Minecraft 1.14 Plus. It's a permission suite that'll basically handle all of your permissions uh, for your server. It's a pretty vital. It plays a really vital role in um, keeping your server moving at all times without people, you know, executing the wrong commands without the right permissions. So yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. So, we're gonna just go over the basics in this video. Um, there should be a timestamp at the start that'll tell you all the commands we're gonna go through, and you can skip to whichever one if you are familiar with, um, certain pieces of this already. So, what we're going to be, uh, what the webpage we're mainly gonna be on is, um, our server's console, which in my case is Dino, and the wiki. Uh, for luck perms. This will list pretty much every command, every feature, everything about luck perms, and it'll give you some insight on how to use it. So we're going to start on the command usage guide, which you can find here down in the contents. Um, and if we look in here, it'll tell us the aliases of the um, luck perms. For our sake, we're going to be using LP, just for simplicity's sake. And um, if we actually go into our Dino server and type LP, it'll tell us to do LP help to view the commands. And if we actually go down here, you can see the general commands, and those are also pretty much all on um, the slash help, uh, the LP help page. Um, the first command we're going to be going through, though, is creating a group because we're going to need groups to set to our users because those will manage the permissions way better than specific user command or permissions. So whenever viewing a command, it'll tell you the command and then the arguments you need to put in. It'll also tell you the permission you need for that, but we will get into finding permissions for your plugins um, in this video. So right now we're going to want to create a group. Uh, so we're going to go back over to our console, and we're going to do LP create group, and then test. Test was successfully created, so we just created our test group. Now what we're going to want to do is put some permissions into that group, but if we put permissions in, nobody's going to use it because nobody's been assigned to it. So we're going to go ahead and add our user, which is in Minecraft right now, to that group. So what we're going to want to do is go back up to um, the contents page that you see on the right and we're going to want to click on user commands. And you might be thinking to yourself, I don't see set or anything, I don't know how to add a user to a group. Well, it's because you have to add the user uh, to a group via the parent command. And um, it's a little confusing but it also makes sense at the same time. So if we click on it, um, it'll send us to the command uses parent page, which um, will give us an index of what you can do with uh, LP and then the user's name and then parent. And then after that, which would be info set add, remove, all that stuff. For now, we're going to focus on set, which will override all the parent groups on the user and set it to one specific group. So if we look at the command, it's LP user or, a slash is an or, same with the straight line. So we're going to do LP user, the user's name, parent, set, and then the group we just created. So if we go up to our server and we go ahead and do LP user and then our user's name, and then parent, set, test, we can see that we've had their existing parent groups cleared, and now only inherents want. Um, don't worry about your name being lowercase, that's just the add-on's way of echoing it back. Uh, it's really set my user in game, even though it has a capital L, to that group. So now that we're set to that group, we're going to need some permissions. Um, but you're probably asking yourself, how do I find those permissions? There is uh, the old way, which is going to those plugins specifically and looking on their wikis or their websites, but LP or LuckPerms has a really cool utility command called LP tree, 
which will generate us a permission tree that is currently on our server. So if we go ahead and copy that, let's just go over to a random web page and then paste it. Take a minute to load. We can see all the permissions on our server. The asterisk right here uh, represents every single plugin. So if you were to give a group the asterisk, it's basically a wild card for every single permission on the server. So uh, don't really give that to anyone unless you want them to have complete access of every single command. But for our sake, we're going to go down to the Essentials tree, which is um, the Essentials X plugin, a pretty popular plugin used by a lot of servers. And um, we're going to want to add, let's say, Fly to test. So let's go ahead and press um, Control F or whatever your browser uses to search. And let's go ahead and type, can't spell, essentials.fly. And as you can see, it actually has its own tree uh, and then subtree of commands. But for now, we're only going to want to do slash fly. So we're going to go ahead and copy this command. Now, we're going to go back over to the wiki and see how to actually implement this command into our um, into our uh, group. So we go ahead and go back to the contents, and then we go to permission commands. And now you'll see another index, um, obviously info set on set. These should be pretty self-explanatory, but right now we're going to use the set. So right here you can set the user or group. Um, permission set and um, basically it's LP group group name permission set and then the node uh, the node is this this is considered the node so it would be the essentials dot fly that's our node and then you can use true or false if they are set to false they won't be able to access that command however um, if you don't put anything, it'll default to true, which means they can execute that command. So we're not going to um, put anything for the true or false um, booleans. So we're just going to go back over to our dino server, and we're going to go ahead and do lp group test permission set and then essential.fly. We're not going to put true or false because I want them to have it, so it'll default to true. So it's set essentials.fly uh, to true for test. So now, if I go back into the server, my user is already set to test. So if I do slash fly, and it also may appear red until you relog. Uh, that's nothing you can really fix. But if I do slash fly, fly mode was disabled. And if I do it again, fly mode enabled. So I have access to the command now. Um, however, what if you want a certain group to inherit commands of another group? Um, this is really common in like um, making admins and such. You want them to inherit every single mod command. Uh, this is really easy to do with um, group parenting. So we're going to go back over to the um, parent commands and wait for that to load. And we're going to go back to the set. So just like we set our user to a specific uh, or to parent and we set a parent to our specific um, user uh, we're gonna do the same with the group um, this is basically making uh, whatever group you put in right here inherit all the permissions of the other group so um, let's actually first go over to the tree viewer and let's um, give a command a default that we normally uh, let's see Essentials.nuke is a good one. So if we do LP group default permission set, then essentials nuke. Um, sorry, ignore that little notification. Um, we basically have given default uh, slash nuke, but our user has been set to test and all the other groups were um, removed from our user, so we're no longer in default. So if we do slash nuke, we don't have access to that command. But we want the test group to inherit the permissions of the default group. So we're going to go back to the wiki. And if we read the command, 
uh, it's pretty straightforward. We just do LP the group or LP group the group name, parent set, and then the group's parent, which will be default. So let's go ahead and head over to our server, LP group, and then let's do test for our uh, for our new group that we just created, parent set, and then default. This will basically give test every single command default and yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Test had their existing parents cleared. Yada yada yada. It's been assigned a default now. If you set it, it will take all the um, uh, it will take all the groups that were set to it and clear them. So if you do want to like stack them, use add. But we're not going to go through that right now because um, set is what we want. So if we go back in game, we can go ahead and do slash uh, nuke. And now nuke is working because test now inherits every single command that, um, uh, what's it called, does default. It inherits all of default's commands. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the basic setup. This is uh, these are pretty much all the commands you're going to be using at the start to set up all your groups, set up your permissions, give your users those um, permissions, and yeah. Uh, if you found this guide helpful at all, feel free to share it to your friends and whatnot. And um, yeah, if you're looking for a Minecraft server, uh, head over to Crident.com. Pretty quality Minecraft servers there. And if you're also a creator interested in working with us, feel free to send us a ticket. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this clears anything up.